This lesson is about reflections, and here's a really nice picture of some mountains reflected in a lake. On a really calm day, the water is very smooth, and you can see all the peaks on the mountains up top reflected perfectly down below, and the clouds also, and even these trees over on the right have a nice reflection. Now, it's not perfect because the road here obscures the reflection of some of the mountains, but you still see a very good reflection, a very good correspondence of the points on the top to the points below. So just as an example, let's look at this little peak right there. I'll mark that and call it A, and then there's a corresponding point down here, which I can mark and call it A prime. Now if we imagine the horizon, or where the horizon would be if the mountains weren't there, that would be a horizontal line. In fact, the word horizon is linguistically related to the word horizontal. It would be about right here. And we can say that any point up top is reflected through that line to give us the point down below. And what I want you to take note of is that if I were to connect those two points, if I were to make this segment, segment A, A primed, and let's just call this line Let's just call it line L. It turns out that line L is the perpendicular bisector of that segment. So these two halves are equal, and that's perpendicular. And that's always true when we have a reflection across the line, and we're dealing with one point and the corresponding point that is the reflection. And this leads us to a definition of the reflection of a point through a line. So you can write the reflection of point P through line L is the point P primed such that such that line L is the perpendicular bisector line L is the perpendicular bisector of segment P P primed and you can draw a little picture. There's some line, we'll call it L, and here's some point P. Well, point P primed will be a point on the other side of L, and it's the exact same distance away from L. If you go from point P to the line, shortest possible distance, which is going to be the perpendicular distance, and keep going that same distance in that same direction, you get a segment here, and that segment is perpendicular perpendicular to line L and is bisected by line L. And then let me just add one other thing. If I had a point on the line, if point P were on line L, then we would say the reflection of point P through line L is simply point P itself. You can see in this first case, if we go from point P to the line, and then keep going that same distance to get to point P prime. Well, applying that down here, we go from point P to the line, we go zero distance. So point P prime, the reflection of point P, would just be that very same point. In fact, we don't even think of this as a reflection in the everyday use of the word, because we don't get a new point. We don't get a, an image of the original point. It's just the same point. We just mention it now in order to be thorough. But remember that if you have a point not on the line, like this, and reflect it across the line, then we get a little segment that is bisected by the line. 